Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Seek and Destroy. And today we're gonna check out the Werewolf by Night trailer that just dropped. Uh, it's coming out on Disney Plus in early October, October 7th, I believe. And I've been waiting for more information about this and I've been waiting a while. And I was hoping, because we heard rumors that it was supposed to come out in October and then nothing and I couldn't find anything on it. And then boom, here we are at D23 and we got a trailer. And the thumbnail looks like it's in black and white, which I, I wonder, I don't know if that's just the thumbnail or if the whole movie is gonna be in black and white or even if it's a movie, because they call it a special presentation. So it might, I don't know if it's a movie length or if it's an hour long or whatever. I don't know all the details. So I'll, I'll look that up online. And if you know, and you wanna let me know in the comments down below, but I'm just excited for this. Uh, I'm also excited for this as a recent current, you know, convert to Moon Knight, being a big Moon Knight fan. You can see all my Moon Knight stuff behind me. And I have this omnibus that I got right around the time, my birth, I think right after my birthday. And it has Moon Knight issues, or I'm sorry, uh, it has Werewolf by Night issues, 32 and 33, which is the first appearance of Moon Knight. So I'm really hoping we get to see Moon Knight maybe make an appearance in this, but I don't want to get my hopes too high because I think this is also going to partially set up and help kind of explore the supernatural corner of the Marvel Universe which is definitely my bread and butter, the stuff I love the most. You know, I know I do 700 plus episodes of the Venom vlog, but really Ghost Rider, Blade, the Midnight Suns, all that stuff is, that's more my speed when it comes to Marvel. I love those characters. So I can't wait to see what this shows us. So without further ado, let's dive in and check this out and give you my honest first reaction of this. Um, so it, I've been waiting all day. I saw that it dropped. I'm like, I gotta get out of work. Let's go, let's go. So here we are. Oh, cool. Nice. Spe Marvel Studios special presentation. That's cool. Very retro. You can't escape the shock, oh. the terror of. This is. Tonight, it is every hunter for themselves. Good luck. Oh, this is cool. For you. Oh, jeez. One of you is a monster. Masquerading as one of our own. I can't wait to find out what breeds. Oh, that's cool. Even the footage skipped. Oh. <laughs> they did this. They stopped. They, they froze frame, too. This is a oh, close up of the eyeballs. This is awesome. This is so retro. Oh, cool. Oh, is that Man-Thing? Did we just see Man-Thing? This looks awesome. This looks so cheesy. Like, but like intentionally. Oh, that's so... Okay, that's freaking cool. That honestly is really freaking... Because I saw the thumbnail of the girl like going like this... And I was like, okay, is that just the thumbnail or are they actually going to shoot this like a, in black and white? And then they even went a step further and they just made it like an old retro horror universal monster movie looking thing um, with like Bella Lugosi and stuff. Like this is, oh, this looks so cool. This is really neat. Like, because I, you know, Marvel does a lot of kind of cookie cutter stuff when it comes to their, their movies and storytelling. But the big thing they said they wanted to do with phase four was kind of branch out and try new things. And not take full risks, but just, you know, kind of lean into some other genres a little bit. And I liked WandaVision because it started off in black and white and it was like these old sitcom-y shows. And then it kind of went through the decades and, and I got less interested in the show as it went on, to be honest with you. Um, but I did still like it overall. But uh, this, though, capturing this era of movie monsters and stuff. And, and I mean, the sets look kind of cheap, though the camera angles are very... Uh, you know, static and, and not, you know, they don't move a lot. They're not very exciting uh, on some levels, but the way it's all put together, at least it, it comes across really like, like a great love letter to those old horror movies. Uh, you know, and, and for me, like as someone who's a fan of those and black and white movies in general, and that kind of tone and vibe and cheesiness and campiness, like I like that. So, and I, that shot at the end with her and it's all the bars and because it, it's supposed to be a circle, I think. And so it doesn't look like the geometry doesn't look right, but that's how it was. And sometimes you make in old movies, things, you know, continuity didn't always work. And, you know, you get those footage where the, the scene would skip because they were filming on old, you know, film reels and stuff. And, and so to see all that here is, and, and kind of put together like this is awesome. I got to look up who directed this and, and who's kind of behind the scenes on this. It, it captures that era really well. And I want to look into seeing who 
who made you know this stuff, you know, made this movie and, and who's like directing it and writing it and stuff. I, I gotta find more information now that the trailer's out there. Hopefully, they'll start getting nuggets of information out there. They already got a poster, so that that's in my background, but I'll put it up there on the screen so you can kind of see that image too. I saw that on Instagram, so I'm ex I'm actually really excited for this, and you will definitely get a review of Werewolf by Night from me. I know I don't always review every little you know thing that comes out when it's Marvel or DC. I like I pick and choose sometimes. Um, but uh, usually if I have a lot to say, and I feel like even if I don't like this, I'm going to love dissecting the old school filmmaking styles that it homages and the, and the way the music is presented and the narrator, you know, like this Halloween, you know, like this is, this is so cool. This is so cool. And I love it. I'm so happy. Um, I waited all day to capture this on screen because uh, this just made my night. I actually I might have to send like my mom this link because she's gonna she'll freak out that I, I'm so into something like this and because uh, she knows I love this kind of stuff so uh, yeah so let me know are you a fan of old horror movies do you have a favorite I'm a big creature of the Black Lagoon guy as far as the Universal Monsters go I really love that movie probably the most but I am a big fan of like Bella Lugosi and Lon Chaney and I'm a big fan of uh, people who brought those kind of characters to life in different ways that were different at the time and and I think still hold up I think those are still fun movies to watch and uh and this looks like a total love letter to that and so for me I'm excited so I will do more Moon Knight stuff coming up um but me and my friend Nate are talking about doing a Moon Knight podcast so I'm gonna lean into that and see how that goes first before I dive full on into the character that's why I haven't opened this yet is because I'm waiting to read it so me and Nate can record our, our show. And we'll see if you guys dig it. Uh, I'll let you know where you can find it because uh, I'm sure he'll put it up on Spotify or somewhere. Um, you know, So I'll let you guys know the updates on that. But as far as this, October 8th or 9th, expect my review to go up of Werewolf by Night. I'm so pumped. Let me know your thoughts down below. And as always, we'll continue the conversation down there. Thanks for watching the show. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the future. Peace.